What's up YouTube, Shane Heath here. I'm coming back to you today with my second video on my RGS and my Humic 12. It's been one month since, well, a little bit over one month since I put down the application. Now I'm gonna walk you through today the little bit of benefits I've seen so far. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you a new organic material I'm gonna be putting down. Basically, I'm just gonna walk you through, do I think it's worth it, did it work? Today's gonna be a little bit different. It's just kind of gonna be a video of walking you through my day in the yard, what I've done, what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you some stuff. I'm gonna get some products down. You know, this is gonna be a beautiful day. I think it's gonna be 80 degrees out today. I'm gonna get out here and get some yard work done and really help keep this turf moving. It's like I said before, I'm gonna walk you through. Did I think it was worth it? You know, is this money you're gonna be spending to spray this stuff down? Is it really gonna help you? So I'm gonna show you some spots I showed you earlier and to kind of show you, I have seen a lot of runners, a lot of growth basically we're just gonna go over it all right guys so this is one of the bald spots i showed you in my last video and if you can see here i've already got one two three four five runners heading into this spot right here that's just this should be gone by the end of the summer at this rate so here's some more of those always i showed you in the last video it's really looking good i'm even starting to get little seed pods pushing here i don't know if you can see those on camera all right guys, so I actually just cut the scratch yesterday. If you haven't seen my other video about the first thing you can do to have that, you know, improve your yard, the best yard on the block, watch that video, I'll throw a link up here to it. But you'll see I got my Toro stripes and that hundred dollars I spent on that striping kit, that's like the number one secret to having your yard look good, I think. I mean, my neighbors ask me all the time what I'm doing and that's basically it. I have a roller on the back of my lawnmower that makes my grass look good no matter what. So it's a little windy today, so what I'm gonna do is actually gonna spray with my back to the wind, because there's two things you don't do. You don't piss in the wind, and you don't tug on Superman's cape. So with that said, let's get her down. like I did last time I did. 15 ounces for 5,000 square feet and 15 ounces for the other 5,000 square feet. So I put down 30 ounces of product total. I'm gonna do the same thing with the RGS and I'm gonna spray it again, keeping the wind at my back, like I said. So when I started editing this video, I realized that my part here about the organic matter and material didn't have any sound in the audio so here i am a couple days later this is the organic matter i was talking about it's actually chicken feed so here you go this is it it's the 16 percent layer feed now you want to make sure you get the crumble and not the pelletized uh the crumble just washes in better so i got this from tractor supply it was like 13 dollars for the bag for a 50 pound bag and this 50 pound bag will do 15,000 square feet so basically you're throwing this down just to add some organic material to your soil because the two things that make good soil is carbon, biochar, or organic matter. You want to want that microbial action to really increase and this is what you're adding here. This also has a lot of minerals and like vitamins in it. You really want to make sure you don't get the medicated version though. And we're just gonna throw this down pretty heavy. 
Um, and I actually had that video from the other day that didn't have audio to it, so I can show you it. Look at that. That's so all it is, just crumble. Can you see that? So that's only like three quarters of the bag. So I'm actually gonna have to refill this after I get this out. Now, the biggest thing is I'm gonna spread this around on my yard. It doesn't matter to get it down too heavy, too thin. The thing is, it's not gonna burn, but you wanna try to give it as even as possible. I'm throwing it down pretty thick. So my spreader setting, I think is like a 16 or a 17 on this one. Do as many patterns as it takes going back and forth to get as much down the yard. Then I'm gonna water it in with my RGS and my Humic 12. thing is and this is a tip for fertilizer too when you start getting low like this and you have more fertilizer to throw take and put more in there it helps it throw more evenly so you don't get those pockets where it runs out and it doesn't want to throw any so go ahead and add your extra into it now and throw it down First thing you're gonna notice with this is this stuff smells. I mean, malorganite smells, but this smells too. It's a different type of smell. It's not really. It's more like a grain, old grain smell. When you put it in your yard, you definitely can smell it. So I got everything down. That's pretty much it for my yard work today. So basically, spray the humid 12. Spray the RGS down my organic material of the chicken feed now i'm watering it in um we're supposed to get rain for the next two or three days i'm only gonna put a little bit of water on it because the yard's kind of wet to start with it rained last night now the million dollar question do i think it's worth it yes i think it cost me 110 115 dollars for the two jugs of rgs and humic 12 and so far i like my results now it's not peak growing season for me i have warm season grass so i'm not gonna hit my peak until june or july my growth so for me to get what I'm getting now, I'm happy. I mean, it's April, about to be the end of April actually. I am ecstatic with how it's going. I'm gonna keep using it. I highly recommend the product. I feel like a lot of people don't really know about it because it's a small company and there's a few guys on YouTube pushing it, but it's not something you're gonna see on the shelf at Walmart, which is probably the reason why it works so good. That's it for today. I got my chicken feed from Tractor Supply. I don't know if I said that earlier. Pretty much any feed store carries it. Just make sure you get that kind, the 16%. You don't want the kind of medication in it. Um, basically, it's just some minerals. It's like soybeans, grains mixed in. Uh, there's calcium in it. Everything is good for your yard. So we're gonna do that this year and see what happens. I know the you know doc recommends it. I actually didn't order his biochar. I ordered the uh, X Soil DIY. I got it from the Lawn Care Nuts website. Hit that subscribe button for me and hit the bell for notifications. I need to grow some more subscribers. I'm getting a lot of views, but I'm not turning them into subscribers. I know my videos might be a little, you know, behind the time right now. I'm still learning, so bear with me. They're gonna get better, I promise you. Um, pretty much just trying to do it with the bare bones equipment. And like I said, in my yard here, I'm showing what the average homeowner can do. I don't have an irrigation system, so I'm gonna spend the next hour moving this around. So this is basically what you do to get your yard looking good. And hopefully I can help you guys out. 
I appreciate it. Like I said, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.